Hi guys, welcome back. Since I've been doing a whole lot of spray painting lately, I thought it'd be cute, super cute to um, make some miniature spray paints. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do it. First thing you need to do is um, download the template and I'll upload that to my website so that you can get that. That's dollhousetutorials.com. Second thing you need to do is get yourself a toothpick or a really tiny skewer. Okay, get yourself some tacky glue. Okay, you're going to cut the template in strips and then you're going to start with the end that doesn't have the writing on it. Put a little bit of glue on there and then go further down in a row just like that. Okay, you can take something else and kind of just flatten it out if you like. Now you want to cut your toothpick or skewer that you have the length of the paper. I'm kind of just rolling it right there to try and get that to start wanting to bend by itself. Do you see how it just automatically wanted to bend? That's what you want because you want to make sure that it's going around that contour. Okay. Then you want to hold it flat. And it's probably going to want to get wonky on you eventually. So you might have to adjust it back down. And then just keep rolling it. Okay, when you get close to the end, you want to hold the top and bottom. Make sure your hands don't touch the glue because when it does touch the glue, it gets kind of icky and it starts sticking to the paint like that one did. So just go ahead and go around. Now you want to take your tacky glue and fill up this little space right here. And I'm just smoothing it out with my finger. But make sure you don't touch your finger on that if it's got glue on it. Get the glue off first. Okay, and then it should attach itself. Now, while it's still wet, you want to make sure everything's flat on the bottom so that your can will stand. All right, now how I got the top to look like this. Now this one I didn't roll quite as tight. Um, but how I got the top to look like that was I filled it with some glue once it was dry. And or just a little bit at a time. Either way works. Kind of smooth it in there. Go a little bit at a time. Make sure it gets right down in those holes. Now, once it's dry, if it still has holes in it, then go back over it again with the glue. Because the glue will fill that in. And then once it's completely smooth on the top, you can sand any rough edges if you want. And then just paint the top of it the color of your paint can. And if you don't have the exact color, what you can do is take that color that you're using and blend it down into the lid and then you won't notice it. Okay, now option two is the wooden dowel. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and mark your line and then cut it off. Okay, if you're going to do the wooden dowel instead of the little um, skewer or toothpick, then what you need to do is you need to take the glue And you need to put a little bit on your dowel. 
as soon as I can get the glue to come out. Okay, while we're waiting for the glue to come back from being at the bottom of the container, take your dowel and wrap your paint template over it. And then you want to cut just a little bit more than you need off of it. And these scissors are really dull. Um, okay. And then just get it kind of working in that rolled position. This will assure that you have all of your dowels and all of your paint cans exactly the same size. But if you don't have tools to cut the wood, then this is the easiest way. Because those little toothpicks you could just kind of snap off with a pair of scissors. Okay, so now you want to put a little bit of glue right on there. And the key to keeping your glue from coming um, out all the time and without sinking to the bottom is put the lid on it and put it in a pup upside down. For some reason, I walked over to cut this dowel and I sat it on the table and didn't um, do that. So the result of that is that it did not want to come out. All right, so now you want to line the template up that you have right even with that glue and then that's it other than painting the top okay so there it is done i'm going to probably give this one more coat at the top and my blue was not the exact color so i'm going to show you what i did to kind of make it look like it was just kind of went down a little bit into the actual lid That way it kind of blends it and then there you have it doing the dowel definitely gives you an overall nicer looking can um, with an even amount going around rather than the individuals because like you have to make sure you're pulling it tight and doing it consistently like this is the first one I did and as you can tell I was really good about keeping that paper super super tight and then I kind of got a little lazy as I got down to the rest of it and then this one I got glue all over it so yeah this one definitely in my opinion turns out much nicer okay guys thanks for watching hopefully this tutorial was helpful you can download the template on dollhousetutorials.com and I will see you the next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below to see more.